Uh, how y'all doing? I want to welcome y'all to Strawberry Space, where we discuss transgender related topics. I don't think I'll ever have any kids. I'm really not that type of girl. Really? I'm surprised. I'm sure a lot of guys would like to uh, knock you up. Gosh, well that would be a Christmas miracle. <laughs> what kind of girl are you? Let's just say I'm a special girl. What are you, retarded? discussing transgender related topics here on strawberry space so female vocal bible on tiktok and youtube share seven is who we're going to discuss today she made uh it wasn't like a serious so i'm not gonna like take it take it serious but i do want to discuss some things that she did as she said uh to a subscriber on her channel um, it was like the one where the background was money and the person was like, you know, what if my, um, husband has been cheating on me with trans women and, you know, what should I do? And she was saying, well, did he tell you? Did you find out? Shit. In a jokingly way. It was a comedy. So I'm not going to take it too, too serious, but there are some stuff I want to discuss because she did mention to tell her. Uh, her to should I lie to the house and train to get that money? You know, are you trans? Or you know, I can't even tell. So we're just gonna get into that. Uh, trans men and women of strawberry space. I just want to say hi, and since the men and women, I just want to say hello and um, welcome to strawberry space. And I thank y'all for becoming allies of the LGBT community. So, sure. What do you think about men who date, sleep with trannies, and try to sleep with? Well, do they tell you this? Are they being honest with you about it? You said, should we still take their money? I mean, it's up to you. To, it's up to you who to take money from, but you don't have to sleep with anyone you don't choose to sleep with. You can still get their money. In fact, if they like trainers, you can lie and say you want until until it's time. You can reverse. You can reverse. You can reverse it on them. You're like, yeah, I'm training. Oh, I can't even tell. I know, right? Give me my money. <laughs> so, you know, you could say that. Everybody think I'm a trans, so, you know, who cares? Just get your money from every direction, and you don't even have to sleep with nobody. Okay? I switched my wig so much, they think I'm supposed to be on RuPaul's Drag Race or something. <laughs> um, what we want to do right now is... Thank Shira. This is not a bashing video. I want to uh, put that out there right now. We want to thank Shira for uh, promoting unity among, you know, a lot of uh, women just all across the board. Because it seemed like everyone was just, you know, uh, supporting the podcast just with men bashing women, especially African American women of color. And it seems like when you're for men, you're the pick me, and if you're for women, you're a simp. And it's, you know, she just brought it together like glue and just mended the gap you know bridged it up but i definitely um i'm looking at my notes right here so if you see me kind of stare off um you know it's nice that as a newfound trans woman we have the same experiences because you know we don't really talk to cis women about like all of our problems but it's just nice that we both have survival votes both the men gaslight us and the saying that we're aggressive so she you know highly uh instructs it gives intuition on how being more submissive is key. Um, you know, relaxing in your feminine. I love everything she says. My mother passed away, so she's been the perfect replacement. Just me and like an older woman giving me all this guidance and game to, you know, how to really get men's attention and how to date eloquently and how to also get that money. Hey, <laughs> you know, because uh, I definitely feel like, you know, the main thing of what people say is like dating as a trans woman, like the problems is like, is he straight and, you know, um, but I definitely think, you know, along with disclosure, it does matter like when you transition because it does help to transition early as opposed to later. Um, I was 19 when I transitioned, I'm 28, so it, I'm kind of like in between, but I just appreciate um, whatever references that Sherry gives that can relate to my life. So um, let me see. Uh, I'm looking at my notes here, y'all. I think I got everything. I love her catchphrases. Pick Misha. 
Dusty, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, she also, um, you know, has a lot of perceptions of men that just, she's talking about the dopamine. She's talking about their intelligence. She's talking about how much they make, where to find the money in the bars and money, 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 money. Um, I also found it interesting when I took some of her advice, strawberry space, how many men still perceived me as a man because I guess they wanted to just tell holler me like a girl but still treat me in the main category like as if I was supposed to make things like easier for them but I feel like they wanted sympathy and empathy because they're like okay um you know there's this hot girl summer city girl summer I take a nigga money summer and it's just all this going on like you know help me out and I'm just like no it's crazy like you didn't do all this for this woman barely you know but being somewhat of a mild man and gentleman and now when you get to all through the cis woman that don't want you and you ain't had no luck with them because they didn't call you back or didn't want you and now you get the trans woman okay I want it I want it here I want it now I hear $60 and I want it fast and I want it raw hold up no no, 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 You have to court me too, wine and dine. And I'm glad she uh, does like self-worth and titles this long three hours. Sometimes I've been asleep, you know, uh, watching this. Like I said, this is not a bashing video. I just want to tell people the safety because you really don't want to like come off and say that, you know what I'm saying, you're trans when you're not. Like that's false claiming. And it could be a dangerous situation you put yourself in because we have to work up the courage to do that. Now, for, unfortunately, thank God for me, there's feminine uh, characteristics that I love, but there's some masculine characteristics that I'm trying to, you know, sort out. But that I have grown to come into myself with that people can just tell on site. Listen, I'll start this I'm on a brick, okay? But I get clocked every chance I get. So yes, bitch, you better work, honey, slay. You better slay the kids when you walk up in the building. I am getting my entire life because I am living. Yes, auntie, yes, God. Come on, sit down with Mother Fish so we can have us a real kiki. So as you can see, like literally everybody wants to be like her. She's that girl. I don't care what you do, homie, but me, the next time I get in a relationship, I'm paying all the bills. I'm paying all the bills because a man should be a leader, producer, protector, and provider. A man should pay, in my personal opinion, every single bill in his household. And if he cannot pay every single bill in his household, he ought to be the kind of man that is striving to pay every single bill in his household. What his wife should be working for? Her nails, her hair, her leisure time, her hair, her nails, her leisure time, her bags, her sneakers, her trips with the girls, whatever it is that she wants to do. Her her man should be the chief provider in his household. I watch my daddy do it. I watch my granddaddy do it. Now I'm not at that point, but I'm striving to be the kind of man. Don't want to be a mediocre man. I'm going to be the kind of man that pay every damn bill in that crib. Let's talk about the 10 things no one tells you about dating in your 20s. One, don't date the guy that needs to keep score on who paid for what and who did what for the other person. Not everything in a relationship will always be equal at all times and that's okay. Sometimes you're the one pulling a little more weight, sometimes it's him, and in the end, real love makes the score trivial. Two, you're not just dating the man, you're dating his family too. If his family constantly needs him to choose them over you, you'll never win. Three, the red flags will always come back to haunt you. Ignoring his slight drinking problem now often means signing up for life with an unapologetic raging alcoholic later. Four, don't date the guy that makes spending time with you feel like one of his chores. If you'd rather spend his Saturday night playing World of Warcraft with his buddies, let him spend every night with his buddies. So you can find a guy who wants to spend every night with you, possibly playing World of Warcraft if that's your thing. Some men only see respect as a one-way street. Avoid the guy who sees putting you down as a joke, but putting him down as an insult. Six, people only seem normal to those who don't know them well enough. Don't worry about looking normal on a date, just be real. The truth comes out eventually anyways. Seven, there are two types of men, the ones who are only good for a great night and the ones who are good for marriage. Don't ever confuse the two. Eight, don't ever let yourself be the other woman to a woman that doesn't even exist in his life yet. If he feels like he can do better, let him try and go do better because you can definitely do better than competing with a fantasy. Nine, there's a difference between taking care of a man and becoming his de facto mom. Find a man, not a man child. 10. Some men deserve second chances, but most of them don't. And at the end of the day, the person who deserves the second chance the most is you as you go out and find another man who isn't dumb enough to lose you the first time. Okay? The table's gonna come to me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. 
all men love skinny women. That's because you're a dusty. You don't have any money, you know, okay? You, you want a skinny woman because you can't afford to pay for a bill. You want a woman to order a salad and not a steak, okay? You can't afford a thick woman. The thick woman's gonna get steak and eggs, steak and steak and potatoes, okay? You 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 can't afford that. So you 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 want a skinny woman, okay? Sprinkle sprinkle. You can't afford a thick woman. A thick woman is gonna gonna order up that rack up that bill, you know, okay? So you want a skinny woman. That's what you want. You're dusty. You can't afford. You can't afford. You can't afford it. Men, men who can pay for the bill, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna get a thick woman because they know she likes to eat. They can, they can actually afford it. They can provide for her. Okay. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And aside of from everyone following in her footsteps on TikTok, I'm not shaking my personal man either. She did hit the nail on the head. Good with that. Um, I'm not no Barbara the Builder. I'm trying to look at my notes here. I did also like that, you know, um, with the aggressive piece, I want to say like it's like so many similarities between a, a trans woman and cis woman. But when you're trans, it's almost like you can't get angry. Because the moment you get angry, oh my God, that's the man coming out. Oh my God. That, like, no, I'm not aggressive. I'm just upset. A cisgender woman can be mad and so can I. She uh, mentioned so many stuff, like she's an entrepreneur, Level Up Cosmetics, she's an author, she was a former mortician. Men say she's a gold digger, but I don't care. I mean, she has a husband. Like, I wonder, let's, let's try that space. I'm trying to figure out if her husband, Kevin, listens in on it. Um, there were multiple times where, I'm oh, sorry, I'm looking at everything. Because like I said, there's really nothing I have to say. I just wanted people to not do that. Because it seemed like everybody was just taking notes. Like, okay, this is how I get some money to fix it. No, no, no. Do not ever say that you're a drunk. Because you might be in front of the wrong nigga. And I just want y'all to know that what that situation will on hold and unfold. That's what we go through every day. You know I'm a jerk, right? Trans, eccentric, radical feminist. Are you a turf? Well, I'm a turf. Okay. Wow. Would you like me to move somewhere else? I go. No, actually. You should you should tell me about being a turf. You're this. a boy, right? Don't fuck with me, because honestly, I did. I did hard. I'd like to see you try. Well then don't judge me for being a turf. I get to be who I want to be, you get to be who you want to be, right? If that's what you want to be who you want to be, then I get to be who I want to be. Which is? I'm not a witch. You're not a witch. You know what? Take your stupid dog, eat your fucking food, and get the fuck out of my life, okay? This is a first. Because otherwise they have to label you a white racist. I see. For a 70-year-old minority woman, you're a racist. You want your rights? I want mine too. Excuse me. Could you grab the manager, please? I am so terribly sorry. I'll definitely be escalating on how I'm trying to get another way. And I do apologize. I apologize about that treatment. So I do want this woman to also remember that it's not your fault, but this is products of the African American community in the heteronormative society. Create that space. They cannot talk about it. You found out about it. He didn't tell you about it because he was ashamed. He was, you know, uh, paranoid about what people would think. And, I mean, he thought it was going to be a, a horrible outcome, so he didn't feel comfortable. Think about this. Why would I give up as a man all this pussy out here to just, you know, claim to one trans woman? Because the moment I say that I openly like them, all of y'all are going to boycott y'all assholes and pussies and mouths to me, and I can't date no other sister of woman after I say I like this one trans woman. Y'all going to call me gay. Y'all are gonna, you already know what that gives. So, I mean, she's like the female Kevin Samuels, like the new 2023 two can play at that game. And it was also a reason why I transitioned because like, you know, you couldn't do anything. Like in the 2000s, I mean, you couldn't, uh, you know, wear pink as a man. You couldn't, even they had like the ear piercings, like left is right, right is wrong. And so like the treatment as a woman is good. So as a newfound woman, I need some direction. I ain't gonna bang. I watch it. And she's had so many like different um, YouTube videos that I've lived by. And I'm like, 
Oh, wow. I love the one where she was like about the worth, the self-worth. Then she mentioned like, you know, going to the bar alone. Then she mentioned there was another one. Stop being so attached. Just understand it's another human being, right? Not your child, not your um, Siamese twin. Let him be, okay? Just whatever he's doing, you could be doing the same exact thing. Just let him be. Stop attaching your happiness to another person. Okay. What if he dies tomorrow? What if he decides he's gay? What if he leaves you for another woman? Your happiness and sense of being is attached to another person. Get you a life. Get you a life. Okay. That's how you can emotionally detach. Get you a life. Do something that's only for you. Get you a hobby. Do something that's only for you and stop worrying about all this emotional attachment. You got the rest of your life to be emotionally. We shouldn't be asking men, what are we? If he hadn't asked you to be his woman, his girlfriend, whatever, whatever, then that's what you are. Someone he's dating. And dating doesn't mean commitment. It just means I take you out to eat and do some stuff every now and then. That's all it means. To him, anyway. And try to get you in a bed before I make a commitment if you're dumb enough. Oh, I want you to have my baby. If a man asks you that, run. What, what happened to the ring? What happened to the wig? What happened to my house? What happened to my car? You know what I'm saying? Oh, girl, he want me to have his baby. Okay, fool, go ahead. I I would say, you know, I want you to have my wig. Give me, give me, give me the ring. Give me the name, and give me a house and a car, and somewhere for the baby to live. You know what I'm saying? Anyone who fell for that, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I understand it, because with that wig you got on tonight, I would be intimidated too, shit. Do you want to borrow it? No, Shira, I'm good, I'm good. Maybe By you... the way, Shira, I, I'm coming to Texas next month. What about we do an interview in person? Uh, no, thank you. I don't meet people. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Shira, let me ask you this. Why, okay, so you keep talking about a dusty, right? But what what is your definition of a dusty? You? I'm a dusty. Mm-hmm. But I make just <laughs> as much money as your husband, so how am I a dusty, boo-boo? I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? No. Nope. Okay. So, Shira, here's the thing. One thing I notice about you is you are full of a lot of cap. I mean, you tell these women that they need to date a man for until he pays five thousand or gives them five thousand dollars worth of gifts. I mean, doesn't that sound delusional to you? No, sounds like it works. Do I make my kids do chores? Well, we have we have a house father. He like cleans and stuff. So I mean, James <laughs> he gets mad at us and he like cleans up a lot. He gets mad at me. And we have cleaning service too. Yeah. Um. <laughs> why are you laughing, Layla? Why did you say it like a father? <laughs> well, well, I meant to. I was gonna say housewife, but he's not a woman. <laughs> so I was gonna say house husband, but it came out as house father. <laughs> My bad. Uh oh, CC sprinkle sprinkle for a quick comeback, Layla. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Yeah, he likes to wash dishes and stuff. Like we don't. Well, I wash the dishes when I have to, like when I make something. Mm -hmm. I try to wash the dishes. I think this is James. <laughs> well, um, he doesn't mind though. Like, as long as Layla makes the mess. Then yeah, but when, when, no you make, when you make the when mess. When I make the mess, why don't you clean this? Because I don't have to. Your house husband. <laughs> Your house father. And stop. Um, you said, do I worship the devil? I don't worship a man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Okay. What I look like worshiping a man, stupid. How you doing? When we argue, he has toxic temper. How do I avoid arguing with him? Girl, I told Sprinkle Sprinkle, don't ever argue with a man. He curses and attacks my weight, but you like this weight when you're on top of it, don't you? You know, what didn't pay for me? Uh, what didn't pay for me some lipo suction? What didn't hire me a personal trainer? 
Well, then hire me a nutritionist. You got money. So young men who don't like my videos, the videos aren't meant for you. They're not meant for the women that you're dating. Okay. The women that you're dating, supposedly 25 and under, if they find my videos, great. Um, I often instruct them to find another, you know, um, man who's older and can afford them or date more than one at, the, at a time. And that's really good advice for young women. Okay. There's nothing wrong with having several options as men do all the time. Okay. If y'all are upset about that, go tell your mama, go cross somewhere else. I don't care. I'm too old for that. And y'all aren't the target anyway. Okay. Does my husband watch my videos? He seems so. He'd be in the next room sometimes when I'm filming him. He don't care. He, he agrees with me. He says he's so tired of these feminine men who act like women. He says he hates those type of men. He says they make him sick to his stomach. He says he was out one time and his because his friend owns a bar. And he said these men come up and ask women to buy them drinks. And these these men coming up to women, you know, offering them nothing. He says no wonder the women are out there turning lesbians and buying vibrators because these men are just like women and he don't understand how we can even be attracted. He said, you are lucky to have me. That's what he said. He says, I am lucky to have him because the men out there right now are, are sad. He says he has never seen a generation of men so feminine in his life. He said, because you know he old and he's been around a while. He said, if we would act like that growing up, we would have get the H, the, the S beat out of us. The S beat out of us. Okay. He said, we didn't play that. We didn't play that back then. You was a man and you did A, B, C, and D. These things, these little um, young things walking around calling themselves a man, ain't nothing. That's what he said. And he says, he comes home and says, oh, you know, my coworkers, they just be talking and crying about their, you know, issues and relationship problems. Da, da, da. And I said, well, you need to hook them up with my channel so I can help them. <laughs> because he says. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He said they sit down when they pee. That's what he said. I think my favorite one was when she was like, um go to dinner and then tell him like where did you vacation and try to up his and i'm like oh yeah you're giving me some some good stuff i don't like the fact that she'd be like oh lie but she is right like men lie to us so like it would only be okay for um it to be the same way so like i said um that's really the only thing i have i really found it crazy because she was like they think i'm a trans and i also felt like okay just because she changed her wigs every day that might make her trans and it's not a trans it's transgender or either trans like uh, i mean the word tranny is like a derogatory, but they're trying to change that to the new norm to describe somebody. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. But I felt like, you know, sister in the world of stories, it's kind of like the N-word for white people. Like, you know, they don't want to use it. You can't use it because you're not in our community and the LGBT community. But I know you are. But I just felt like, okay, this was nice. You know, because trans girls need love too. Trans men and women, especially the trans women, y'all should definitely watch it. Um... It's just, uh, you know, when you date, there is a lot of trans men that shade you too. Like, okay, I want real pussy. Like, I want a real girl. And, and, and a lot of uh, times they'd be like, oh, I only deal with passable, you know. And, and it's hard it is a trans woman. So sometimes, even though we're dating the same type of men, which a lot of y'all don't want to believe, but that's another topic. Um, it is nice to just, like, say that. Because, you know, you want some upper echelon men. I'm tired of these ankle monitor, uh crack dealing you know nothing ass having niggas on the block i'm gonna be a nice man too and uh, we all deserve that so uh i'm sure if you're watching this thank you for so much you know uh wisdom and gems that you dropped you know for me as a trans woman to use a cis woman i really appreciate it i just don't fuck with that telling them i'm trans just to get him some money if that's what he like it bitch no that's not the way to go uh, you can tell me anything you want about the uh, cisgender, but with the new L and G and T, you cannot do that. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, for that situation, I mean, I understand it was just like a little playful thing. And then it probably did work because she probably did do it. And he probably was 
having that is this fetish in the back of her pocket and she probably did it probably did get some money but i'm just saying the reason he hid it the reason he didn't tell her, the reason she had to find out about it and he wasn't so forthcoming is because of all the nuances set upon the african-american community and that's what makes it so much harder for us to date like that's why we have to do what we do and go behind people's backs or go on the forefront or wait at night or go on the stroll or go on these websites to find some sort of um sexual advance for exchange for money for stability because they have it set forth like that is the new norm and i don't want people to feel like we're forcing people to do anything but that's just where it comes from so um yeah, cause and then to perpetuate that and the false claim that you're trans just files into our stigma that we're all prostitutes and whores. And no, don't put that on us because once we finally level up and get a job, that will someday be like something of the past. Because I feel like if people were just not discriminated against us anyway, we all would have jobs and no one would be escorting in the first place. So, um, I love her, everything about her channel, y'all. Just go over there. It's S H. I think it's E R A seven N. Tell us here, I sent you. So this is from Strawberry Space. And thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle.